just a minute. Huh? I need to open the file. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Put see the your email loka nakuriya karma chidaham sankaras chakartasyam upahanyam imam praja. Lord Krishna is saying, Krishna, if, Arjun, if I do not uh, follow the everything very properly, what will happen is, uh, if I do not do karma, Sankara Sachakarta Syam, people will think that Krishna is the greatest authority and he is responsible. So they will also become irresponsible and I will be the cause of creating unwanted cause. Me. So unwanted population or the disorder in the world happens. Not uh, uh, because of inaction of the good people, mm -hmm. because saintly people do not behave properly. Therefore, uh, people in general they they think that there is no hope for them. So it's a great responsibility in this time because many people are behaving not responsibly. It's a, uh, a responsibility of the devotees to behave properly, mm -hmm. so that people can learn that anyone uh, anyone who is a true Krishna conscious person or is a God conscious person, how does he act? Because they see many wrong religious examples as well. They think that religion is the cause of envy, religion is the cause of hatred. Many people think like that. And they they have that faith. So that's responsibility. Mm. If I did not perform prescribed duties, all the others would be put to reunion. I would be the cause of creating unwanted population and I would destroy the peace of all living beings. Krishna is giving his own example. Varana Sankar is an unwanted population which disturbs the peace of the general society. In order to check the social dispense, there are prescribed rules and regulations. Lord Krishna descends naturally in peace with these regulations in order to maintain the prestige. Lord is the father of all living entities and if the living entity is misguided, indirectly the responsibility goes to the Lord. Therefore, it's a Sarvadhan. Now here Prabhupada makes a very important point. We should however note carefully that although we have to follow in the footsteps of the Lord, we still have to remember that we cannot imitate Him. <laughs> when I read this section also earlier, I had this doubt. Krishna is giving an example that uh, I'm, uh, you know, I, I follow everything properly. How will be able uh, people be able to follow uh, the pastimes such as Ras Leela? So that doubt may come in the mind. How do how is this Loka Sangra? Huh? The mental peace of the population. So just go into that little bit, try to understand carefully. Praise, you can go through it again. Srimad Bhagavatam Canto 10, uh, chapter 33, text number 26 to 39. I'll just go through that. If uh, um, the only hope for the living at least conditioned world is the Shelter of Lord Krishna, and if they have doubt on Lord Krishna, then how they will be able to take shelter of Lord Krishna? So, therefore, this doubt has to be clarified. How is this Lord Krishna behaving in not so exemplary manner? Shri Parishad Oacha Sansthapanaya Dharmasya Prashamayi Tarasacha Avatirno Hi Bhagavan Amshena Jagadishwaraha Sansthapanaya Dharmasya. Prakshad Maharaj asking after the Ras Leela, the first time was narrated to him. Lord Krishna descended to uh, establish the Dharma. Avatir no hi Bhagavan, and he came with the Balramji, the Lord of the Universe. Sa katham dharma se tu naam, vakta karta virakshita, pratipam acharat brahman, paradara bhimarshanam. Sa katham dharma se tu naam. He is the dharma se tu, he is the bridge of dharma. He, 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 he has set up the bridge of the dharma by which, by following his the, the bridge which he has set, people can become religious. He is the dharma setu. He is the vakta of dharma. He has spoken dharma. He is the karta of dharma. He follows dharma very nicely. Abhirakshita, he protects the people from following a dharma. He is the speaker of dharma. He is the follower of dharma. He protects people from going to a dharma. Varta, karta, abhirakshita, 
Pratipamacharat Brahman. How can he behave contradictory? Pratip is a abominable or contradictory action. Paradarabhi Marshanam. What is that action? How can he touch other people's wives? If you have, a, a, I don't know, modern people don't know also this sin or not. But if you read this, uh, eight aspects of Brahmacharya, even to touch a woman is a sin. Not for the husband, but if one is like somebody else is, I mean, wife, or if you are not married, to touch a woman who, for, with whom you are not married, that's a sin. Paradara Vimarsham, how can he touch other people's wives? Krishna Maharaj said, O Brahmana, the Supreme Person of Godhead, the Lord of the Universe, had descended to this earth along with his plenary portion to destroy religion and reestablish religious principles. Indeed, he is the original speaker, follower, and guardian of moral laws. How then could he have violated them by touching other men's wife? Aptakamu Yadupati Kratavanve Jukup Sitam Kim Abhipraya Etanna Samshayam Chindi Suvrataha. The Lord is not having any material desires. He is satisfied in himself. When he doesn't hanker after other, you know, woman, he is the Kama. Yadupati is the master of the Yadus. He is a leader. Kirtavanve Jugupsita. How could he have done such an abominable? Jugupsita means condemned. Kim Apipraya. What was his motive? Because he doesn't need any woman. Why do you do like that? Kim Apipraya. What is his motive? Etanaha, this shamshayam, I have this doubt. <laughs> you may also develop a doubt. Krishna is saying here, you know, I protect all people, they should follow my path. How are you doing like that? How can you follow the Lila? Chindi <laughs> Suvrataha. Oh, Suvrataha, that means you are a staunch Brahmachari. So they go song. In fact, your renunciation is so higher that you don't even see distinction between males and females. He is walking naked. And when the females were taking bath, they didn't just uh, even bother to cover themselves up because so he is saying you are describing the glories of Lord Krishna, but you are so fixed in religion. How is it like you are so fixed in religion and you are describing someone who is not fixed in religion? How do we understand? Oh, faithful upholder of vows, please destroy our doubt by explaining to us. What purpose the self-satisfied Lord of the Yadus had in mind when he behaved so contemptibly? Shri Shuka Uach Dharma Viti Karo Drishta Ishwaram Chasahasam Teji Asam Doshaya Vahne Sarva Bhujo Yatha Dharma Viti Karo Drishta that uh, seeing that dharma vyatikram, that uh, uh, transgression of the religious principle, dharma vyatikram, or crossing the limits, drishtaha uh, is seen in Ishwara. Ishwara here refers to the controllers. Control does not mean controller of a tiny village. You know, I am Gram Panchayat or <laughs> district magistrate or even the chief minister or prime minister. Controller means here the controller of planets like the sun and the moon. Ishwaranam Chasahasam, Teji Asam, those who are very powerful living entities, Nadoshaya, do not see fault in them. Vahane Sarva Bhujo Yatha, they are like fire which can burn everything up. Just like the sun is there. So the sun is there. Sun can touch the urine and the uh, stool and it can purify the urine in the stool. If you try to imitate the sun by touching the urine or the stool, what is going to happen is you will get contempt. Teji asam doshai. Don't fall fine with the great people. They can do things which you cannot. A gross example I'll give you. Sometime back there was like this thing. Um, uh, Note bandi, whatever something the government was saying that you know, whatever you know, kala pesa you have, you give to the government, 60% government take, 40% will become white pesa. That government can do, you cannot do. You give me white, you give me black money, I'll make it white. 
that ordinary people cannot do, but the prime minister can do. He can turn black money into white money. He is not affected. But if we try to do that, we will have a problem. That is what he is, he is being told here. Dharma, those who are great personalities, controllers, don't fall fine in them. Vahane sarvabhujo yatha. The status of powerful controllers is not harmed by any apparent audacious transgression of morality we may see in them. For they are just like fire, which devours everything fed into it and remains unpolluted. Great potent personalities are not ruined by an apparent transgression of moral principles. Sridhar Swami mentions the example of Brahma, Indra, Soma, Vishwamitra and others. People of this category, they... They, they 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 don't fall from their position by some irregularity in behavior. So Brahma's example is that he was attracted to his daughter Vagdevi and he was running after her. And those who laughed at him, they became Rakshasas. They became the sons of Kalim and then they became the sons of Devki and they were killed by Kamsa. But Brahmaji was his post was not demoted. He was as it is. Great personalities. Even if you observe some transgression, they are not uh, they are not uh, uh, affected by that. Indra, to, uh, you know only. So he once uh, uh, ran after the wife of his spiritual master. Vishwamitra one time ate uh, dog. He ate. So one time Prabhupada also asked that, uh, Swamiji, did Lord Ramchandra eat meat? Prabhupada would have given many answers. But this time he told Yes, he can eat also and he can digest also. <laughs> that means to say, even if Lord Raja may eat meat, he will he can digest the sinful reactions in the meat. But if you eat, you will not be able to digest. Therefore, it's not good for you to eat, even if he has done it. Mm. If you try to imitate the great personality ruling the universe, the result will be. So Indra is doing so much mistakes, but he is not sent to hell. Have you ever have you ever read in any scripture that anything happened? Indra was directly said to her. No, not at all. On the other hand, Ajamil, like he was his, he was his placement happened for him. He almost escaped doing something which we consider. So therefore, we have to understand carefully. Naitat samachar e jatu manasampi anishwara vinashyatta charan modhya. Yatharuddho Dijam Visham. He is giving one example. Naitat Sam Acharit. Sam means, okay, he is doing like this. I can also do like this. Sam Acharit or comparing and then I will also do because he has done. Naitat Sam Acharit Jatu. Don't ever compare even in mind. Manasa Abhi. What to talk of talking that I will, uh, you know, I will uh, perform Dandiya dance. And what to talk of actually participating in the Dandiya Dita. Don't even think in the mind that I can do that. Netat Samachari Jatu Manishahadi Hi Anishwaraha, one who is not a controller. One who is not a controller, he cannot do. Why? He's given an example. Vinashapti Acharan Mondya, if he do, he will ruin his present life, he will ruin his future life. Yatha Arubdrob Jabjam Visham. One who is not a Rudra, one who is Lord, not Lord Shiva, if he imitates Lord Shiva by drinking the poison, what is going to happen? <laughs> Needless to say to me, what is going to happen? That fellow will not last. Sometimes as a Shivji follower, they depict some images of Lord Shiva in Ganja and you know, this, saying Mahaprasad, Mahaprasad, Bhang Mahaprasad, because Lord Shiva is drinking poison, they don't directly copy, they don't <laughs> cannot drink poison. But Mahaprasad, they take ganja. Anyways, by that, that also they'll get destroyed. This example is given. Don't. One who is not a great controller should never imitate the behavior of ruling personalities, even mentally. If out of foolishness, an ordinary person does imitate such behavior, he will simply destroy himself, just as a person who is not a Rudra would destroy himself if he tried to drink an ocean of poison. <laughs> Ishwaranam vacham satyam prateva charitam kachit tesham sa vachas sa vacho yukta buddhiman tat samacharit Ishwaranam vacham satyam. The, the words of the great personalities are true and, and they are to be followed. Whatever they speak, it has to be followed. And 
वॉट एवर आचरण दे डू वॉट एवर बिहेवियर दे डू दैट कैन बी फॉलोड समटाइम्स देयर वर्ड लाइक गीता भागवतम हैज टू बी फॉलोड ऑलवेज एंड देयर एक्टिविटीज हैव टू बी फॉलोड समटाइम्स वाई समटाइम्स वेन इज दैट टाइम वेन देयर एक्टिविटीज आर Uh, matching with their words, that time their activities are imitable. Not otherwise. The shams of bacho yuktas when mm, this this thing their ashram is in matching with their words. Both divans that samachari the wise person should follow them. Mm? Not when the activities are not matching with what they are saying. We have to follow what they say. So why we cannot do randhya? Simply because Lord Krishna is saying we should not do. Has any instruction been given that you can also perform Ras Lila? Did any Lord Krishna tell any they were in the Gita? He has not told. So we should do what is told to us. That's all. Statement of Lord Embodied Servants are always true, and the acts they perform are exemplary when consistent with those statements. Therefore, one who is intelligent should carry out their instructions. Kushala. चरित स्वाथो न विद्यते विपरीण वनर्थो निरहंकरिणाम प्रभो बिकॉज दीज ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटीज दे हैव नो फॉल्स ईगो निरहंकरिणाम प्रभो दे एक्ट विदाउट फॉल्स ईगो लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज नॉट बाय फॉल्स ईगो फॉल्स ईगो मीन्स अटैचमेंट एंड ऑल्सो फॉल्स ईगो लीड्स टू अस्मिता लीड्स टू राव अट्रैक्शन एंड रिपल्शन द्वेश सो दीज कंट्रोल आर फ्री फ्रॉम अट्रैक्शन रिपल्शन देर फोर Mm. Um, my dear Prabhu, when these great persons who are freed from false ego act piously in this world, they have so selfish motive to hold back. If they act something good, they don't want to care they, that their photo is glared. Even when they act in apparent contradiction, like why Krishna is not following moral laws, they are not subject to sinful action because they act without false ego. This point we fail to capture. They are acting without false ego. They they, they don't they don't act on their personal accord. मटीरियल रीजन How could, how then could the Lord of all creation, beings, animals, men, demigods have any connection with the piety and impiety that affect his subject creatures? Yadapa dapanka japara ganisheva tripta yoga prabhava vidhuda kila karma bandha swayaram charanti manayo pinatana yamanas tasya cha yatya vakusha kuta eva bandha. So the devotees who are uh, uh, taking shelter of the Lord. Uh, they are very satisfied with these dust of the lotus feet. Even material activities don't engulf great sages. What? What is the question of bondage for the Lord Himself? Gopi naam tadpati naam cha sarvesh sarveshami va dehi naam yon tascharati sodhyaksha krida ni ni hadeh bhag. So now here is giving very graphic example. To tell in more detail, you may not be satisfied with the answer. What is this? great people can do? I cannot do. What is this? This is injustice, cheating, cheating. I should also be great Ishwar, no? <laughs> so he's saying, "Arey Baba, Gopi Nam, Tatpati Nam cha. He is within the Gopis. He is within the Gopis husbands also. He is within heart of everyone. He is within everyone. He is already associating with everyone. He just came out. He is already with them. He just came out to play with them. So what is the problem? Correct." He's already within. He's already associating. Right? He's already there. You cannot remove him. So he he is not an ordinary big person. He is a supreme lord. What's happening? Why not going now? Yes. He who lives as the overseeing witness within the Gopis and their husbands, and indeed within all the modern beings, as he sons is able to enjoy transcendental pastimes. Just to enjoy transcendental pastimes, he did like this. Otherwise, already there is already associating with. Nobody can say that. You have touched them in private. He is already in the most private place. He is in the heart. He is. He is. He knows the whatever you are thinking. He knows. He is every. He is all conscious. 
अनुग्रहाय भक्ता मनुषम देहमास्थित भजते तादृशी क्रीड़ा या श्रुवा तत्परो भवीत क्रिस्टल लॉन्ग में आज वाई डी डू लाइक जस्ट टू प्लीज दीज सो देर इज अ लैंड ऑफ धर्मा एंड देर इज अ लैंड ऑफ लव वृंदावन इज अ लैंड ऑफ लव आउटसाइड वृंदावन इज अ लैंड ऑफ धर्म सो एंड वृंदावन कृष्ण डेंट वरी एट ऑल अबाउट एनी मॉरल कंसिडरेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू वर्ल्ड मॉरलिटी ही जस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू प्लीज इज डिवोटिस but outside and of course one more reason is that in vrindavan krishna has not accepted any official post just covered boy outside vrindavan he was the king he was kshatriya he was representing the yadus then he behaved very exemplary but in vrindavan he was anyways a child only child can be excuse he was 8 years old and so that's a different land so vrindavan should not be compared with any other land because that's totally radical so here also krishna is uh, establishing something but what it is by establishing will be very clear soon anugrahay bhaktana manusham in fact he assumes a human form just to just to uh, do mercy on his devotees bhajate tadrishi krida one who uh, with great reverence uh, uh, accepts these pastimes ya shrutva tat paro bhavet he also becomes dedicated to him so this pastime is just to increase the love of his devotees please and the people to follow it is not for sadhaka bhaktas it is for premi bhaktas this pastime is also something to follow it has a very great significance but the only con- there is some qualification required to approach this past therefore this pastime is kept in the 10th canto probhat keeps on hammering the point please don't jump over the ras leela please don't jump to the 10th canto Go canto by canto. That's the reason because you are not qualified currently to hear those pastimes because you are too much stooped up in bodily consciousness. Rag, ichha, dwesh, samutthe na, dwanda mohe na. You see male, you see female, but Lord Krishna and Radha Rani are neither males nor females. They are transcendental. That that will not enter your head right now because something else has captured your head. Therefore, it's. Uh, when the lord assumes a human like body to so much to his devotees he engages in such pastimes as will attract those who hear about them to become dedicated to him na suya khalu krishnaya mohitas tasya maya manyamana su parshvasthan swan swan daran vrajo kasam so somebody will say krishna is merciful to everyone how is he merciful to the husbands of the gopis he showed mercy to the gopis but husbands might become envious so he say no Even the husband did not become envious. Cowherd men bewildered by Krishna's illusory potency thought their wives had remained home at their sides. Thus, did not harbor any jealous feelings against. Everyone uh, greatly benefited from the Vrindavan pastimes, and uh, it is a great detail how these Vraj Gopis, the Devis, Vraj Devis, they are all uh, spiritual potencies of the Lord, and they are not not touched by anything material. So, some concept of like Maya Sita and Sita is. interplaying here you can read in more details very difficult to explain now in a short time so but something like that this is like brahma ratra upavatte vasudevan mudita anichchanto yayur gopya sagrahan bhagavat priya after entire night of brahma and passed lord krishna advised the gopis to return to their homes although did not wish to do so the lord beloved consorts complied with his command they were very obedient to the lord and krishna fitted one night into brahma he made brahma's night so this is the uh, this is the reason why he performed these past times vikrid idam vraj badur vir idam cha vishnu shraddhan vato anushrayat athavarna yed ya bhaktim param bhagavati pratilabhya kamam gharadrok ashram apihino yachirena dhiraha so what is the benediction of this past time is if somebody hears this past time काम मटीरियल लस्ट हृद रोग दिजीज ऑफ द हार्ट आशु अपिनोतिग्राफिक मटीरियल बाय विच द लस्ट इज रिड्यूस्ड बाय वॉचिंग पॉर्नोग्राफी समथिंग एनी टाइम इट लस्ट इज रिड्यूस्ड इट है 
So, but here it is promised that if one reads this past time, this rust will reduce. It's totally 180 degree turn because it is totally transient Leela. So, we should understand this. At least one point should go inside. That. <laughs> this is not, this past time is not to increase lust. If our lust is increasing from this past time, that means two things are happening. What are two things? First is Shraddhan Vito. We are not hearing faithfully. We don't have faith in the Supreme Lord currently. Our faith is very weak. We think that he can also be lusty. We are not understanding that he, he never does anything wrong. So therefore, it's not the problem with the past time. It's problem with the past time hearer. So try to develop more Shraddha. Shraddha, Sadhu, Sang, Bhajan, Kriya, Anartha, Nivritti. Thoda uspe kaam kari, chanting thoda ho kari. Tab aap se aapka lust sunke kam ho jaye, khatam ho jaye. That's the problem. If somebody hears this pastime without offensive mentality, either presuming Krishna is lusty or presuming gopis are uh, uh, wrong, then he will become free. But unfortunately, we don't have that uh, that background now because we don't have enough Shraddha. Therefore, we should better not hear. When that Shraddha comes, that Krishna can never do anything wrong. Gopis are not at all wrong. Then one can uh, go ahead. This is one thing. Number one. Another thing which may have likely to happen is Someone who is describing to you, he is not uh, pure. We have to be pure. We have to have faith in Krishna to hear. And we have to hear it from person who is pure. Who has implicit faith in Krishna. Then only these pastimes, this lust will go down. So it's long homework, so better don't try. <laughs> Let's go ahead. So this uh, entire thing I told you, just to make you understand that you should not have doubt in Lord Krishna. Otherwise, where is the hope for us? If we have doubt in the Supreme Lord, then there is no hope of advancing at all. <clears throat> This Prabhupada is saying all these things you can read in detail. Hmm. So, Prabhupada is here. One should not try to imitate the powerful, but simply powerful, follow the instruction. One should not try to occupy their post without qualification. There are so many incarnations of God without the power. They say, I'm Kalki, but they cannot, you know, <laughs> they cannot do anything. <laughs> they are simply, you just lose. So, uh, hmm. Though the Lord teaches this way, we also see that Lord sometimes acts independent of the law, desiring the happiness of the devotees. But such action we should not perform to those who are inferior to the Lord. Krishna Vrindavan didn't take public responsibility. Vrindavan is a place of love. So in Vrindavan, he only does what pleases. So he breaks the law sometimes, but just to please his devotees. Therefore, he again and again tries to stress that Bhakta Vatsal is his primary quality. He can break his vows. He broke the vow uh, when Arjun was in threat. Just to, when the devotee is involved, then he breaks his vow. With non devotees, he will never break his vow. The gopis wanted to have pastime with him, they wanted to dance with him. Forget what the world is saying. You know? <laughs> Let's dance. So he, just to please his devotees, he breaks his vow. Otherwise, never. This has to be understood. His devotees never break their vow. But he breaks the law just to please the devotees. Erina hmm. Dharma is Mathura and Dwarika and love is Vrindavan. Therefore, when you are hearing Vrindavan pastime, especially I am telling because we are God of never ask any question. Vrindavan is not for asking question. It is simply for relish. If you are asking questions in Vrindavan Lila, that means you are not qualified. <laughs> Better you hear first Dwarika Lila's Gita, you read and because it's simply just to enjoy. Just be, you've been amused by the activities of the Lord. If you are asking question right now, that means you are not qualified for that. Don't, don't try. So please forgive me. <laughs> you, Lord, you are totally breaking my logic. I am an engineer and you are you know, totally destroying my circuit. But that's what it is. Vrindavan is not supposed to ask questions. Great person, you do two types of action. One to set an example, one to establish his position. That is the Supreme Lord. Supreme of laws also. If you think that Krishna should perform morally right, not touch other's wives, that's karma mansa. That laws are supreme. Supreme is not supreme. 
that's karma wants. Laws are required to regulate lower self. Krishna is not having any lower self. He violates laws, it's out of love. The negativity is not there anymore. It's not there. So why the rules are required? You know, because the lower self to regulate, he's not lower self. Saktam karma avidvamsam yatha kurvanti bharata kodvad vidvamsta sakta chikeshu loka sangraha Again, Krishna is uh, this thing. And Arjuna will say, Krishna, but uh, uh, how do I distinguish uh, like the karma kanda person from the karma yogi? So Krishna is now explaining how to distinguish. First he is saying, Saktaha karmani avidvams. Though one who is not wise, one who is ignorant, he becomes attached to the activities and he acts the learned should also act as he acts, but asaktaha without attachment. Just to set an example for them. So here, like three things are there: karm kand, karm yoga, and jnana. Here, bhakti is not there, but we can apply, of course, everything to bhakti also. Prabhupada has done very beautifully. So Krishna is saying those who are attached to work like karm kand. If you say to them, what is this? You are working, you are an ass, you are a donkey. Just give it up. Come to the platform of jnana. But they are attached. They have material desires. Therefore, they will not be able to come up to jnana because jnana has a purity element. Jnana requires purity. They don't have purity. They will not be able to come to jnana. And they will give up karma also. So they will lose. They will become weaker means. So don't... Uh, uh, Tell them to go to Gyan rather than try to elevate them up to Karm Yoga. You also don't go to the platform of Gyan, you remain in Karm Yoga. To set an example, those who are in Karm Kanda, elevate them to Karm Yoga, don't elevate them to Gyan Yoga. Again and again, repeatedly, Sarvind, don't uh, instruct anyone to just, just accept the renounce, which was Arjuna's first proposition. What was that? I will drop everything down, I will go to the forest. For that only Krishna uh, repeatedly hammering, don't drop your duties, do your duties without attachment. As the ignorant perform their duties with attachment to results, the learning may similarly act but without attachment for the sake of leading people on the right path. Hmm. Person Krishna consciousness, the person not in Krishna consciousness, differentiated by different desires. Hmm. Hmm. So, um, so, even though they are uh, um, both are doing the same result, both are doing the same activities, but the result obtained by both of them will be different. As we see in the case of Samudra Mantan Leela, <laughs> said the demigods and demons, they were working on the same place. Their goal was the same. Their efforts were the same. And the time was the same. Everything was the same, but the demigods got the nectar and the demons did not. <laughs> Everything was the same. Efforts, मेहनत जितना लगाया समय जितना लगाया सब कुछ सेम था उसी जगह पे किया वही प्रोजेक्ट में थे सब कुछ सेम था बट रिजल्ट डिफरेंट आए क्यों दे से देवर देवर डूइंग इट फॉर द लॉर्ड एंड दे डीमस दे आर डूइंग फॉर देमसेल्फ दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्स अर्जुन इज आल्सो फाइटिंग दुर्योधन इज आल्सो फाइटिंग अर्जुन इज फाइटिंग विद फुल फोर्स दुर्योधन इज आल्सो फाइटिंग विद फुल फोर्स दुर्योधन इज अरेंजिंग मिलिट्रीज Arjuna also arranging militaries. Durudana is using weapons and Arjuna also using weapons. Yeah, everything is same, but Arjuna became victorious, Duryodhana became lost. Arjuna was fighting for the Lord, and Duryodhana was fighting for himself. Nothing is material. Nothing is material. Krishna again and again hammers the point. You cannot stop work. You do work, you just change the consciousness. So Gita is not uh, to tell you to give up whatever you are doing, but do it in right spirit. Do it in right spirit. Na buddhi vedam janiyet agyanam karma sanginam joshiyet sarv karmani vidwan yukta samacharan na buddhi vedam don't disturb their intelligence janiyet people, ordinary people, karma sanginam they are, they are agyani and they are attached to their karma kandi. Hmm? 
Joshi just engage them in all sorts of activities. Uh, the boy should act like it. So as not to disrupt the minds of ignorant men attached to the fruitive results of prescribed duties, a learned person should not induce them to stop work. Rather, by working in the spirit of devotion, he should engage them in all sorts of activities. So, um, although the, uh, so here Prabhupada makes a very important point. The ignorant man is not to be disturbed in his activity. A slightly developed Krishna conscious person may be directly be engaged in the service of the Lord. For this fortunate man, there is no need to follow the vegetables. Even if like one is slightly Krishna conscious, he can be engaged in Krishna conscious. What to do with ignorant? Ignorant, like if you, you can you cannot you, you are you are doing Vikarma, stop it. Don't do that. What do you say? You are doing so much work. Uh, you can you have opened three factories. You can open one more factory, and the output you can give to Krishna. Engage. Whatever you're doing, engage. Prabhupada followed like that. There are some artists. So Prabhupada engaged them in art. There were high grade pro was editor. So you just edit books for Krishna. So whatever you are doing, somebody is a salesman. You take Prabhupada books. Whatever you are doing, you do it for Krishna. Because he, he is attached to work. He cannot stop work. So the preaching, the when we are preaching, the first thing it should come out from mouth is not no. The first thing we should come out is yes. What do, what do I mean by that? You meet someone, he is smoking cigarette. Don't. Don't say that. So you can, you can come to temple and you, you tell positive things to people. Don't don't uh, restrict people by saying no, no, don't do no girlfriend. Even if somebody is with girlfriend, what do you, you should say? So you come to temple, bring her also. <laughs> don't say you get lost. You know, you are good for nothing. If you say like that, he will renounce, not the girlfriend, he will renounce you. <laughs> so you first bring him to temple. Gradually, 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 both of them, let them attend whatever, IYF, IGF, and then gradually they will get purified. Initially, Prabhupada also did like that. He, all the people who were coming, their boyfriend, girlfriend only. They no girlfriend. He did not say like that. <laughs> he just engaged them. And after one day, they said, we, will, we, have, we will have initiation. What is this? You don't worry. So he told initiation, and you have to chant 16 rounds. Everything is over. After the next day when they came, on the board it was written, all initiated disciples should follow four regular people. No meeting, no girlfriend. <laughs> After initiation, they came to know. <laughs> I to follow this. So act very wisely. Don't say no to people in the beginning. Just encourage them. Oh, nice. You are so nice. Whatever you do, just encourage him to do work for Krishna. Don't disturb the mind by saying this karma is despicable. Just give up action, become successful like me by the practice of jnana. Engage them in action by saying perform action without desires. So somebody may ask, so three factories open, one you open for Krishna. He may say, what will I get? That is your seva. Oh yes. Life membership program, Rupa started with that. People are very ready to work. They like You must have also observed. For chanting people, oh my lord, this too... You inspire people to chant. But you inspire, please give donation. Well, easy to take you. you are, some people are coming to temple, you please watch the whatever some services, they're very easy to do. Just engage people first. Bhakti is by nature strong and it's not dependent even on the purity of the heart. If it is possible for to produce faith in the bhakti in another person, then you may disturb the minds. So there is one more point here. You can disturb also mind sometimes. If you can produce faith in Bhakti. He's, he's telling, don't accept the mind by, by telling them about jnana. You take sannyas. Don't do that. But if, if that person has developed some faith in Bhakti, then you can disturb his mind. You can say, you can join temple. It's okay. Bhakti is very powerful and he will become purified by that. So that's different with Bhakti and jnana. But simply saying no, that's not good. Hmm. So, uh, because this is the Rishabh Dev section, he says, Rishabh Dev say, says that, um, that uh, intelligent person should never engage someone in fruitive activities. 
that is in regard to uh, like <clears throat> you should give instructions about bhakti but regarding jnana one should never tell somebody to take up jnana <laughs> jnana requires purity of heart if you simply say just just become sanyasi that person will miserably fail how to dismiss the person okay prakrte kriya manani gunai karmani sarvasha ahankara vimudatma karta aham iti manyati prakrti due to the modes of nature kriya manani gunai karmani sarvasha all activities are performed by the modes and the mm, mm, <laughs> modes of the material nature and one who is a fool ahankara vimudatma karta aham iti manyati he thinks i am the doer what does this verse mean this verse has been quoted very often and often likely it is that this verse is misunderstood so that means i am not doing anything modes are doing everything prakriti kriya mani gunai karmani sarvasha ahankara vimud atma karta aham iti manyati i am simply thinking i am the doer so that means i don't have any responsibility this verse is not saying this everything every verse whatever it is any scripture has to be seen in context therefore we when you hear any statement is that to mean context with desha kala patra context it has to be contextualized i would think that you know um this you know the character of soul is what are three characters of soul he is a uh, uh, eternal he is a uh, blissful and is all knowing so i would think very so i am all knowing <laughs> so but so very not all knowing i am not all knowing so that has to be contextual that means all knowing about spiritual life about my relationship with krishna everything is contextual similarly some religions they very strongly preach i am the way the truth and the light and there is no other way except me you know <laughs> whatever my subscription on religion that is the only that is the only means otherwise all other is are like you know, sometimes they quote jesus you know i am the way to the light i am the way not is the krishna is not the way allah is not the way. similarly mom and they will say you know only allah whatever they say you know not no one else so these statements are certain there in these scriptures but unfortunately there are no people to uh, properly mm. contextualize them these statements are for the uh, understanding that suppose a patient goes to a doctor and the doctor says you know okay you follow this regime you take this medicine three times but but uh, my dear this ayurvedic doctor he says to do this this, this. okay okay you take medicine this time but this homeopathy doctor he says you do this this, this. and then okay you do this and this is the another allopathy doctor he says are you forget all this just follow me stop all medicines you just follow what i am saying what is the thrust of the verse here is when you are taking from some particular uh, you know a system training then if you constantly keep on comparing this religious system that religious system you are going to go nowhere in that context context those statements are spoken they are not universal that allah is the only way muhammad is the only way jesus is the only way that, that that's not but it has to be contextual you go to a doctor and then you follow what he is saying till the time you are following him. you can change the doctor if you don't get results there's no problem <laughs> you can always serve the doctor you want but when you are following a particular person you should have uh, faith in that otherwise you you just follow him half then you will not get the result properly whatever he wants to give you therefore this verse means that it's not that the material nature is ever doing everything you are not doing anything it simply means that jiva is not the only doer i am not the only doer the spirit soul bewildered by the influence of false ego thinks himself the doer of activities that are in actually there are three modes of material nature what is the disease provide saying so how to distinguish so one who is attached to results he will claim doership so arjun says both are working karma yoga is working karma kand person is working you know so how to distinguish the both 
So first he says, Karam Kanda person, he will be very much attached. He will think that result is coming due to me. Only me. That's his essence. Prabhupada still puts it here. The person in false ego takes all credit for doing everything independently and that is the symptom of his science. Takes all credit. All good is Guru and Goranga. He thinks I have done everything. So, uh, how do we understand that we are not the only doer? So, um, so, um, Jiva is not the only doer because uh, uh, the work is done through the body. The Baldev often gives an example, just like uh, there is an axe. The axe can cut a tree, but axe is not having in, uh, intention whether to cut a tree or not. So, uh, axe cutter takes an axe and then he cuts the tree. So, who is cutting? Axe is cutting. But uh, the, the intention was of the axe cutter. So, Jiva has a role that he desires. But actually, everything is carried away by the body and the axe and whatever is produced by the material nature. So, he is not independent in these activities. Another point is, when one is in material consciousness, then whatever he is doing, all options are wrong. What does that mean? Say, suppose I give you a question. Tell me, what is the capital of India? Number one, Moscow. Number two, New York. Number three, London. Only three options. What is the capital of India? <laughs> so whatever you answer, you give to be wrong. <laughs> Similarly, Maya says, okay, you are not Krishna conscious. What do you want? Ignorance, passion, goodness. Only three options. Whatever option you take, it is going to be, it is going to give you misery. That's what he be told. If you act in false ego, detached from the Lord, whatever you do, it will give you misery. Either ignorance or passion or goodness. Therefore, don't think you are independent. There is Supreme Lord. If you do according to Him, then your actions can be meaningful. So, kar Karam Kanda person, this is the problem. <clears throat> also, he is saying that um, Atma can be doer only in association with body, senses, life, fear and Paramatma. So, they are also responsible. Jiva is not the only factor. Kari Karana Krithi Hitu Prakriti Ruchit. Material nature is said to have uh, be the mm, and the cause behind activities. Tattva vittu mahavaho guna karma vibhagayo guna guneshu vartanta iti matva na sajjati On the other hand, one who is a tattva vitt. What is a tattva vitt? Mahavaho arjun. One wants to understand the guna karma. The very great details of these two. He understands Actually, the modes are interacting with the modes. What does this mean? Guna guneshu vartanta. I have an eye which is controlled by the demigod of the eye. This eye is a sense and it is in some mode. It is good by material nature. That eye is seeing something beautiful object. That object is produced by material nature. So he understands through the power of the devas, the eye is engaged with the eye, whatever sense object, beautiful object. Guna guneshu vartantaha. Ah, what am I doing? I, when he sees beautiful object, it reacts in a certain way. What am I doing here? I have no control, you know, this, uh, this thing. Therefore, he doesn't become attached. I am not attached. The eye is a sense uh, organ and it has a tendency to be attached to sense gratificatory objects, beautiful uh, scenes. I am not attached. The eye is attached. The mind attached to sense gratificatory objects. I am not attached. 
anasajati he doesn't become entangled tatva vid he knows this fact that i am soul and so prabhupad is always transcend definition so prabhupad says that tatva vid prabhupad says tatva vid vadanti tatva vidas tatva vid gyan udvayam one was the absolute in three different features brahman parmatma one tatva vid so guna vibhag is sattva rajantama karma vibhag is due to the effects of gunas devata those who are controlling my senses they are in sattva guna my senses are in rajo guna and sense objects are in tama guna one who knows the nature of these two is called tattva so tattva means he understands actually i am not desiring to see some good objects i am not desiring to hear some beautiful music but my body because it is made of the modes my mind is made of the modes it is desiring sense gratification so i should work for the satisfaction of the supreme god he doesn't become attached karm karm kandi becomes attached because this he thinks i am seeing that beautiful woman i should uh, you know associate with her i should please her whatever but the intelligent person karm yogi says i am not attached to that woman my mind is helplessly attached my senses are helplessly attached he doesn't become attached he was okay my mind is attached like that my body is my essence is attached like that okay let me engage this whatever my impelation impel which is coming from the mind by my body in the service of the lord so let's together let's marry and let's together perform devotional service that's karm yogi you are understanding the difference in karm yogi and karm kandi <clears throat> senses such as the eye administered by the devas are engaged with the sense of this is form i am not at all the senses i am not the eye i am not the mind nor the sense objects there is no relation between me and the sense or sense objects at all so any sense gratification in this world he doesn't identify with that who oh. requires some maturity i guess come to the platform of soul not so easy to come to the platform of soul right <clears throat> he knows that the senses are inspired by devtas and beautiful objects are revealed only through my eye if i were not there beautiful object i will not be able to perceive that i is being attracted to some material object and and and, and mind is decoding that this object is beautiful whereas in reality this object is not beautiful it is a cheating done by the modes tatva vid he understands this ha 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 krishna consciousness not so easy he is not attached to body or sense of gratification he is attached to the atma tatva vittu mahabaho guna karma vibhagayo guna guneshu vartantah iti matva anasajjati one who is in knowledge of the absolute truths oh mighty one who is in knowledge of the absolute truth, he understand that i have come here to please the supreme lord lord has arranged everything i am in the predicament place here uh, patitam maam vishame bhavam budho i am helplessly being attached to vishay i have fallen this sagar kripaya tava pad pankaj krishna please purify me that is the mentality of a karma yogi hmm? does not engage in sense and sense gratification knowing well the difference between work and devotion and work for fruitive results so it doesn't work to uh, you know simply increase money to enjoy simply get more beautiful woman he works to please the lord that's karma yogi he 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 that the krishna is not out of equation for him that's karma yogi like duryodhan you see in the chapter 1 he mentioned so many people duryodhan mentioned bhishma drona other side mentioned arjun but he he just very expertly kept krishna out of his equation krishna was nowhere existing in his equation that's karma he was actually vikarmi is not even karma kandi but even you know karma kandi is not if you keep krishna out of equation then that's you are attached we should always keep krishna in equation. any job i am taking up i am getting married will this help me to advance in krishna consciousness this is prime consideration any job which i am taking will i be able to become krishna consciousness will i get to attend morning program will i get prasad if you are worried about that then you are karma yogi no first let me marry then we'll see later on no that didn't work like that <laughs> let me first have a very nice marriage and then 
Maybe Krishna Krishna will will include. Let me first take green card and 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 settle in Pennsylvania and then no no temple is is there, no problem. It's okay, green card is there. Bhakti where it is going is always here only. Any any time I can return back. That's not Tattva. He's he's attached. So we should not be attached, right? प्रकृते गुण सम्मूढ़ा सज्जनते गुण कर्मसु तान अकृष्ण विदो मंदान कृष्ण विद न विचाल सो प्रकृते गुण ड्यू टू द मोड्स दे आर टोटली बिल्डर्ड बिकॉज दे आर टोटली बिल्डर्ड बाय द मोड्स ऑफ मटीरियल नेचर सज्जन बिकम अटैच टू द मोड्स एंड द एक्टिविटीज तान अकृष्ण बट वन हु इज नॉट अटैच वन हु इज Uh, one is a um, manda Krishna. One is an intelligent. He is not. Uh, he is not vichal. Um, Unko kya kehte hain? So Prabhupada gives one definition of manda. One who is too much attached to bodily consciousness called manda or lazy person. Man kalos me niyuge jana. Thank you so much. The time is up. If the board is have any question, otherwise you can leave. Yes, Mayank Prabhu. Hari Krishna Prabhu ji. Who is already married, like Ravana? That's the karma. Or you want to elevate to heaven, and then you want to enjoy with Absara. That is also karma kant. There, that rules are different. There, you are allowed. Here, you are not allowed in this earth planet. You want more enjoyment? You can aspire to heaven. Many people would do it like that. You do yagya. That's perfectly fine. You will not get reaction. So whatever these smart brahmanas they do, that is karma kind only, na. Correct. So like uh, this, uh, uh, the pujas that we have in our villages, uh, uh, what? What are they called? Samajya. Ah, uh, all the everything that comes under ritualistic worship comes under karma kind only. Correct. Okay. And Prabhuji, one more question. Uh, once you were telling that uh, whatever uh, nowadays we uh, whatever most of us are doing. uh practicing krishna consciousness in the mode of goodness uh, or you are telling something ki most of us are practicing in uh, uh, doing goodness wala bhakti and we will end up going to heaven so so what do you means dono mein antar kya hai ab jara matlab aur kya hum practice kar rahe hain matlab you know. very simple uh, you just try to understand the mentality of mixed devotees and try to understand mentality of pure devotees Mixed devotees, uh, various examples are given, like Indra versus Bali Maharaj. You can read that section. Indra versus Vritra Sura. You can read that section. Indra versus Prithu Maharaj. So very clearly comes out what is a mixed devotee mentality, what is a pure devotee mentality. Or Pralad versus Indra, Pralad versus Jami Gods. Very easy to understand. Mixed devotee means he wants to serve the Lord, but हमको भी ना थोड़ा अपसरा भी चाहिए हमको पोस्ट भी चाहिए हम हम बढ़िया चलना है दैट इज डेमी गॉड मेंटेलिटी तो ये गुडनेस वाला भक्ति आप बोल रहे थे या ऑफ कोर्स दे वाज इन गुडनेस बाबा पैशन पर्सन पर कृष्ण इज नॉट एलिवेट हिम टू हेवन यस प्लीज थैंक यू यस इंद्र नील प्रभु हरे कृष्ण रुद्र जी धन्यवाद प्रणाम थैंक यू रुद्र जी जी जो अब आप कर्मयोगी के कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स बता रहे थे दे साउंड मोर लाइक डिवोटी ओनली भक्ति ओनली तो उसमें क्या डिफरेंस है कर्मयोगी और भक्ति योगी प्रभात तो लाइक ये मेक्स इट सिनोनिमस प्रभात वेरी क्लियर लाइक ये लाइक कर्म योगा बुद्धि योगा भक्ति योगा बट सटल डिफरेंस आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड There is one work and there is fruit. Karmiyogi means I do what I like. 
in Varanasram, I may do whatever duties I may like. And I offer the results to Krishna. That's Karma Yogi. Bhakti Yogi means I don't do anything. I just want to do that work which will please Krishna. I am not even attached to work also. Okay. Hare Krishna. Dude, you can leave if you want. Time is already up. Any other question anyone has? Ruji, uh, those who are in renounced order, whatever uh, work they do, means it comes under Bhakti Yoga or means initially they are also not purified. Like, uh, means I don't want to judge, but uh, my friends, who those who started doing Bhakti, means uh, in initial days, uh, those who got into renounced order, in initial days also means so they would take some time to get purified now. So whatever bhakti they would they will be doing there, uh, is it does it come under bhakti yoga? I Means I'm just trying to understand, not judging anyone. Yeah. <clears throat> so now what you are talking about, I I I guess is a, a something different topic, and that is a sadhana bhakti. Achha. Sadhana bhakti bhi bhakti hota hai. <laughs> और उसमें कोई नेचुरल टेस्ट नहीं रहता है गुरु के आदेश का पालन करने का कोशिश किया है खुद से टेस्ट नहीं है उसमें बहुत कुछ इंप्योरिटीज नहीं है तभी तो साधक है नियोफाइट कहते हैं ही हैज मेनी अदर टेंडेंसीज नियोफाइट ही जस्ट लाइक प्राकृत भक्ति इज प्राकृत ही इज मटेरियलिस्टिक ही इज ट्राइंग टू एलिवेट सो दिस पाथ हियर व्हाट प्रोपर इज गिवन अस सो इवन दोस हु आर यू आर सीइंग रिनाउंस्ड दे आर नॉट रिनाउंस्ड इन दैट जो वैदिक रनसिएशन जिसकी बात कृष्ण कह रहे हैं जो अर्जुन से बात चल रही है वो तो वो अर्जुन कह रहा है मैं जंगल में चला जाऊंगा वहां पे भीख मांगूंगा ऐसा रनसिएशन थोड़ी कोई लेता है जो क्या कहते हैं आश्रम में भी रहते हैं ब्रह्मचर्य आश्रम में रहते हैं ऐसा थोड़ी के दिन भर बैठे रहते हैं वो भी तो सारी एक्टिविटीज कर रहे हैं सब कुछ कर रहे हैं दे आर गोइंग आउट दे डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग बुक्स दे आर प्रीचिंग टॉकिंग फोन भी ऑन है जैसा मतलब कुछ कॉल सेंटर कोई भी ऑर्डिनरी जॉब होता है एज इट इज कर रहे हैं यस और नो वो कृष्ण कुछ और बात कर रहे थे ये भी तो एंगेजमेंट ये भी तो कर्म योग का ही है इन दैट सेंस बट हियर द थिंग इज दैट यू यू डू ओनली वट यू नो यू डोंट डू वट यू वॉन्ट टू डू वट एवर यू नो ऑर्डर कम्स फ्रॉम कृष्ण दैट यू डू दैट इज लिटिल डिफरेंट थिंग और जब वो कुछ गलत कर बैठता है तो उसको पश्चाताप भी होता है अरे कृष्णा मैं ऐसा हूँ प्लीज प्यूरिफाई में तो वोट ऐसे आप डरिए मत आप लोग हम सब स्वर्ग में चले जाएंगे ऐसा नहीं अगर जैसे कोई कोई क्या टेंथ से ड्रॉप कर देना चाहता है अभी मैं इलेवेंथ की पढ़ाई नहीं करूंगा <laughs> लेकिन मरते समय भी कोई अटैच भी है लेकिन कृष्ण मेरे थोड़ा ना इतना कंडीशनिंग है मैं स्ट्रगल कर रहा हूँ पोस्ट की इच्छा है प्लीज हेल्प मी तो वो स्वर्ग में नहीं जाएगा उसको कृष्ण दोबारा से जन्म देंगे फिर आगे प्रैक्टिस करेगा अब मतलब <laughs> थोड़ा सा ऐसे डराना पड़ता है नहीं तो लोग समझते नहीं बट क्या है डरने की जरूरत नहीं है अगर आपकी डिजायर आगे साधना मुक्ति को कंटिन्यू करने की तब आप स्वर्ग नहीं जाएंगे लेकिन आप स्वर्ग क्या होता है जब बिल्कुल डेलिबरेटली आपने कहा नहीं भक्ति में ब्रेक लगा दो <laughs> मुझे तो ये चाहिए ही चाहिए उसमें बहुत एक्टिव परस्यू करते हैं बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग ले जा रहे हैं आप कोई कृष्ण कोई प्रार्थना भी नहीं कर रहे हैं कि मैं आगे कंटिन्यू कर उस केस में कुछ स्वर्ग नहीं अदरवाइज यू कैन कम बैक ऑल्सो ना कृष्ण कैन सेंड यू बैक ऑल्सो इनकम्प्लीट हो गया आपको टाइम नहीं मिला साधना भक्ति वो कर रहा है उसका समय खत्म हो गया दो ही साल जीवित रहा जो भी है दस साल जो भी है फिर उसको दोबारा भी मौका भी देते और क्या होता है कैरी ओवर होता है पूर्वभ्यास जैसे गजेंद्र एवं व्यवस्थित तो बुद्धिया समाधाय मनोहती जापके परमन जाप्यम प्राक जन्मनी जैसे गौरांगपुर राधेश्यामपुर बता दें कोई भागवतम का एक श्लोक का थोड़ा सा पहला लाइन देखते पूरा श्लोक उनको याद है कहाँ से आया पहली बार पढ़ने पर एक श्लोक देखा पूरा दूसरी पर और जैसे वैराग्य भी रहता है पिछले जन्म से कंटिन्यू रहता है अपोजिट सेक्स के प्रति जो अट्रैक्शन है वो पिछले जन्म का जितना कम हो गया है उतना ही कंटिन्यू रहता है 
सब जो अभ्यास है ये कंटिन्यू जाता है अगले दिन अभी मेरे लिए तो बड़ा मुश्किल होता है ठीक है अभी हम यहाँ पे टेन परसेंट से चालू किया जीरो परसेंट से था मैं तो दूसरों से कंपेयर ना करें वो नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑलरेडी पिछले जन्म में वैरागी प्रैक्टिस कर चुके हैं तो बट हमको अपना आगे आगे बढ़ाते रहना चाहिए इसीलिए चार वर्ड है ठीक है यस खुशी थैंक यू थैंक यू गुड कैन लिव ओके क्वेश्चन फाइन सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हाँ यस दिव्यांशु प्रभु Yes, uh, Prabhu ji, जैसे कृष्णा इज बोर्न इन अड एज अड बॉय एंड लाइक वो पूरा लाइक उनका पास टाइम जो भी हम चाइल्ड हुड सुनते हैं बट लेकिन फिर बाहर द्वारका में ये नोन एज अतक तो इसको कैसे समझेंगे वो ऑक्यूपेशन तो वैश्य वर्ण में होता है वैसे तो कृष्ण ट्रांसेंडेंटल अभी अपग्रेडेशन हो रहा है बीच में वो भी हुआ गुरुकुल भी गया वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लीला गुरुकुल लीला राइट अपग्रेडेशन हुआ वहां पे क्षत्रिय के जितने भी जो सब चीजें क्षत्रिय जो गुरुकुल में जाते हैं सब सीखा उसके बाद पूरा प्रॉपर बिहेवियर क्षत्रिय की तरह ही था लड़ाई भी किया क्षत्रिय बाकी गर्ल्स किडनेप भी करते वेरी एक्टिव पॉलिटिशियन यू कैन नॉट से नहीं आ रहे लाइक like, एक तो एक क्या होता है ना एक परफॉर्मेंस से भी पता चलता yes. जैसे जो कोई प्रधानमंत्री किसी को बना दिया तो, तो वो परफॉर्म कर रहा है इसका मतलब वो उस, मतलब ही रूलर ही फ्लॉप देयर इज लाइक सो देन देन ही इज नॉट सूटेबल फॉर दैट पोस्ट बट कृष्ण परफेक्टली सूटेबल इज देर एनी एग्जाम्पल यू हट ही नॉट प्रोटेक्ट एनी सिटीजन और he could not win any war he was caught he never like that he was doing all the duties of shat and very peacefully no no grudges or <laughs> mm-hmm. yes. the confusion okay. was only because in cha- yeah the confusion was only because childhood pastimes like were of cow herding and also these are like not the activities of shat yes hmm nahi confusion aapka isliye ho raha hai kyunki aap vrindavan leela ko mila rahe hain baaki ke sath maine pehle hi kaha tha vrindavan leela mein sawal नहीं पूछना है yeah, yeah, yeah. वो पॉइंट आपको समझ में टाइम लगेगा वृंदावन लीला में सवाल पूछोगे तो पगला जाओगे थैंक यू सो मच कृपा हाँ विश्वास प्रभु यस प्रभु यस प्रभु बस एक लास्ट क्वेश्चन पूछना था कि जैसे हम लोग जो भी एक्शंस करते हैं उसमें हमने दो एक्सट्रीम्स ऑब्जर्वेशन देखे हैं कि मतलब कुछ लोग समझते हैं कि मैं ही पूरा एक्शन कर रहा हूँ और दूसरा एक्सट्रीम ये है कि वो सोचते हैं कि मेरा कुछ नहीं है मतलब सारा कुछ मतलब मोड्स की वजह से हो रहा है तो ये मतलब दोनों ही रॉन्ग है ना मतलब जीवा का ये रोल होता है जैसे आपने बताया कि वो डिजायर करता है और दूसरा जो बॉडी और मोड्स होते हैं वो केवल मीडियम होते हैं उस डिजायर को एक्शन में कन्वर्ट करने या सो सो या करेक्ट करेक्ट वाइल डूइंग एक्टिविटी वी शुड टेक रिस्पांसिबिलिटी आफ्टर डूइंग एक्टिविटी द रिजल्ट डज नॉट कम वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड कृष्णा एज वेल बट नॉट बिफोर डूइंग इट ओके ओके थैंक यू Ah, uh, like you have, if someone is under mode, suppose that goodness person ignore him, so their thought will also be decided according their mode now. Ah, uh. so their their points comes like that, then where this free will will play the role. Okay, ये मैं समझ गया क्या हो रहा है यहाँ पे अभी ये जो section आ रहा है ये ऐसा ही है पूरा volatile section है. इस पे अगली दो क्लास इस पे डिटेल डिस्कशन करेंगे 
आप लोग मैं समझ गया क्या हो रहा है मैं अच्छा इंट्रोड्यूस ही किया आपको अभी कृष्ण के बारे में थोड़ा बताया अब ये चालू ये पूरा सेक्शन ऐसी है पूरा समझ गया मैं यू कैन जस्ट व्हाट्सएप नहीं आई जस्ट टू प्रिपेयर लिटिल मोर एग्जॉस्टिव ठीक है उसको पूरा क्योंकि वो सेक्शन ही वैसा है वो पूरा सेक्शन ही इस प्रकार का है ये आगे आएगा हाँ जस्ट प्रभु रोजी जैसे लाइक डिजायर जो होते हैं वो सोल करता है बट डिजायर्स आर स्टोर्ड इन माइंड सो एग्जैक्टली लाइक हाउ टू आंसर दिस सोल को एंजॉयमेंट चाहिए प्रभु नाउ वी आर कवर्ड ओवर सो वो परवर्टेड वे में बाहर आ रहा है लाइक लस्ट को क्या कहते हैं लव ही है वो इज कमिंग आउट इन अगली फॉर्म आई नीड प्लेजर दैट्स इनहेरेंट थिंग But we are because I'm poverty covered over. That's coming out in this thing, man. ठीक है? Okay. Yes, please. Thank you. अरे कृष्णा. ठीक है रामदेव भाई, you can just write the question. I'll just prepare it. Yes, please. Okay.